you want to do is make your cylinder. I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to make the cylinder. You're going to wrap it up in plastic on one of these wear boards. The plastic, the wear boards, and the clay are on a cart that looks like this. We're making a six inch wide and two and a half inch tall clay cylinder using slabs. So I cut about four pounds of clay out of one of those bags. When I'm done, I'm sealing the bag back up and putting it back on the cart. I am going to ask that when you're working in here, you make sure that you clean up after yourself. If you don't clean up after yourself, this place gets dirty really fast. Okay. So, I'm going to take some of this clay. I'm going to do a quick wedge. And when I wedge the clay, I'm just pulling it back and pushing it down itself. Pulling it back. I want to get the air out of there as best I can. What I'm looking for is something kind of like this. There's some little wrinkles happening in here. Put some newspaper down. Take out one of these big old honking rolling pins. Take a piece of clay. Down on here. Using this, there are two of these slats that are on either side. That's a good size, good thickness for your slab. Get yourself a ruler. There's a few here in the ceramic room. So I want this to be six inches in diameter, which is right around here. It's about. Thick, <coughs> big rounds, right? When I attach this, is anyone familiar with clay? What do I want to do when I'm attaching? Two pieces of clay. Slip and score it. Slip and score. Big ceramic Velcro. Don't just push the clay together. Water will hold it together. And once it dries out, it all falls apart. In our next class, you're going to take your bag, nice brand new bags, you're going to take this object, you're going to put it in the bag, on the board, so that it stays fairly wet. Please don't bring your molds down to this room. You don't want to get plaster in this room. 